Hi and welcome to Joseph Frank Aesthetics uh, Beauty Block. Um, here I will be discussing products um, and as well as tools, perhaps in the future doing some tutorials uh, and as well as talking about some industry things um, and personal experiences. Uh, I'll try to keep the uh, bitching down to a minimum and keep it positive. Uh, the first thing I would like to review is um, some brushes that I recently purchased. I purchased them from Royal, uh, Royal Lang Nickel. Uh, from moralbrush.com um, and there I uh, purchased the 20 piece silk pro set um, comes in this really really nice case pleatherette case and it's nice detail stitching you can see it's red here um, there was no phrase or anything like that which I'm kind of a stickler for really nice quality overall um, comes apart like this and the first thing I noticed about this is it has a really nice uh, little pouch in throw a few extra brushes in there if you got one or two that are, you know, one of your favorites you want to add it to your collection, you can take them with you. And you'll notice it comes like this, with this protective flap over them. Now they all came wrapped in plastic like this one here. I have taken that all off, um, as um, well as this, these little plastic tubes that came over some of the smaller brushes. Um, now some of the larger brushes uh, only come in the plastic and were not protected by this tube. And for the first brush that I'm going to talk about, the um, large um, powder brush, uh, this is a C100. You notice that it's got a little bit of indentation uh, from packaging or shipping or whatever. That'll decrease as soon as uh, I wash them a few times or use them a few times. I'm sure that's no problem. Um, but yeah, really nice quality brushes. This is uh, the powder C100. See the size of it there. Um, the handle could, from my taste, could be like slightly longer. I kind of have a bigger hand, so. I typically kind of hold the brush towards the end of it, but still good stuff. This one here, um, blush is C110, same style brush, just a little bit smaller. Notice that all the brushes have their name, um, the name of the brush, the, na uh, the name of what it, is, what it does, as well as the number, so I like that about them. Next one is a foundation brush. This is foundation 200. Um, I'll probably most likely use this for um, a liquid highlighter because uh, I do a lot of airbrush foundation. So, but this definitely will get some use for sure. This is foundation uh, 200. Uh, the next is a contour 120. This is a great brush uh, right underneath the cheekbone or even as your, your blush or brush as well. Um, I kind of like to use blush sometime as your contour, um, kind of blend that upwards. This is a great brush for that. Contour uh, 120. The next is, um, this is the Eye Shader Large 400. Really nice, large, um, firm brushes there. And this one, you know, good for depositing color into the... The whole lid the whole eye next one is a medium size uh, shader this is probably really good um, I know I'm gonna use it for a cream a cream shadows good for like the lower lid perfect for that this is eye shader medium or uh, 410 next one we have a crease this is an angle shader 500 good for crease um, blending together one or more color uh, angle shader 500 This is uh, their crease. Um, this is a crease 430. Kind of a you know, tapered, pointed kind of brush. Great for achieving uh, blending that smokiness out in the crease of your eye. Uh, the next one is kind of like a, a pencil brush, but they're calling it um, a smudger uh, 420. It's kind of got a, more of a dome uh, tape, tapered kind of look to it. Um, I'm going to put this in next uh, to. Uh, one of my favorite brushes, this is a Lancome brush, uh, pencil brush, uh, Lancome 16. Um, similar, um, but um, both great tools for creating that smokiness. Um, this is probably one of my favorite brushes. It's good for creating that like defined kind of line, uh, the diffused kind of um, line without being uh, too broad. And if you wanted to you know, soften that up, you would kind of take the larger smudger, which is what they're calling this, or your crease brush to blend that line out. But yeah, Lancome, this is a good addition to have Lancome 16. I'll throw that in that little side pouch. That's gonna be enough for sure. 
Um, I also have this brush here, which kind of confused me when I first saw it, <laughs> but um, I'll probably find some use for it, who knows. This is Angle Eye Blender um, 460. It's kind of this tapered, flat edge to it. Um, perhaps good for taking your highlighter or your eye, or after you've done your um, darker shade, kind of taking that from the corner out, blending underneath the eye. Who knows? We'll see how that works in the field. Let's see how I put that to use. Uh, the next one we have is a lip brush. This is a lip 600. Self-explanatory. It's round. Um, this is really good for diffusing that um, soft, uh, diffusing your lip liner and blending it into you know your lip gloss or, or lipstick you're going to put on top. It's good for that. Um, we have a concealer brush, the Concealer 210. I could use a little concealer right now. <laughs> we also have a um, flat uh, eyeliner, flat eyeliner 450. Good for um, underneath and right at the base of the lash. Um, great um, tool uh, for um, uh, lids with a minimal crease. Um, if you want to kind of uh, make that illusion of a deeper eye or a deeper lash line, this is what you need. Um, a flat eyeliner, 450. And then we also have uh, what they're calling um, an eye detailer. Eye detailer, um, 470. It's a smaller brush. Um, I am most likely use this for lip, um, to be honest with you. I don't see myself using it as an eye detailer per se. And then we also have um, an eyebrow. Um, I won't use this as eyebrow, um, which I will show you in comparison to the other brush here. This is for me probably more of a, um, a eyeliner brush. It's a flat eyeliner brush. Good for probably create, you know, creating that winged eyeliner look. But this is what they're calling eyebrow 490. Next we have um, a pointed liner. Um, I don't know why it's called pointed liner, I won't use it as um, liquid liner or liner of any sort. I don't think it, that it's uh, tape enough. I think it's too full. Um, this perhaps I'll probably use for just blending, uh, crease blending or or something. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. This is a pointed liner 440. Now I'm going to hold this in next to what they're calling their detail liner. Let's see, it's much smaller. Detail liner 480. Um, this one looks to me a little bit... Uh, wide. Um, I'll probably end up purchasing something a little thinner, um, but this will get some use for sure. Um, we also have um, this dual brush. This is uh, Lash uh, and Brow, Brow Lash 510. Um, I don't typically like double-ended brushes just because when you put them in, in, in and out of their little slots, it kind of ruins the things, but this you'll see is definitely better suited for brow. It's a little stiffer, um, good for getting the coarse brow hairs. We've got a little bit of damage. Uh, one of the fibers is sticking out. Again, that's from packaging. Because I haven't used these yet. Um, this, in comparison to what they're calling eyebrow here, completely different fibers, completely different sizes. Yeah, so this will be my brow. This will be my uh, liner, angled liner. And see the next brush, um, this which again um, is a comb, you know, double ended brown lash comb. I don't typically use, I don't find myself using in the field. Um, this one you'll notice, um, you might not be able to see it, but there is some glue residue between the furl here and this top black part. Um, but no big deal. I don't find myself using the, this brush very much. And the next one we have is a fan brush. Um, again, see this is how they came in the packaging. Um, fan brush, good for um, dusting off some of your final powder or if you're laying down powder to catch uh, the fall of eyeshadow. It's good for sweeping that away. I don't do that, however. I kind of work backwards. Uh, do my eyes first and then I do foundation afterwards. Yes, this is that. In addition to these, I've got two additional brushes. Uh, the first was um, a lash fan brush, um, which I will be getting a lot of use out of. Good for cake liner, um, cake mascara liner. Uh, this is good for applying just color. 
um, giving a little soft um, definition to the lashes themselves. Great for use with men on film or the camera, you know, television, that sort of thing. Also, um, great for applying, um, you know, mascara. Uh, just take the mascara tube, kind of fan it, and I, I love this. This is great. Better the use uh, a brush than those disposable mascara ones, which just add up and, you know, can get quite expensive. So, I probably, once I use this a few times, I'll probably buy a few more of these to have in my kit because they're great. Uh, lash fan. And it just gives you more control, I feel. Um, another one I purchased was the Large Stippler brush. This is Large Stippler 251. The lash is number 525 lash fan. These two I purchased in addition to. Um, the only complaints I have about this one is that in the packaging, it kind of got dented. Um, you'll notice that they kind of come like this in the packaging. Like that, like so. Um, and then it's got this like button thing, and then you would have to pull it out this way. Now, there's no guard on this, so when you try to pull it out, you know, you're kind of rooting that. And I noticed that when this was in here, it was kind of already kind of mushed, moved. So that, that's what that created that kink. Um, I mean, if they simply just move that button to the bottom and you could pull it out from the bottom, you could have less damage, um, or they could put, you know, some sort of brush guard over this. That's my only complaint about this whole thing. Other than that, the Royal Brush 20-piece um, Pro Set is quite phenomenal. It looks great. I can't wait to put them to good use. Um, yeah, if you have any questions or um, anything like that, please let me know. I'll try to do my best to answer them. And thanks for tuning in to my very first uh, web blog entry. Forgive if it's a little amateur. Uh, in the background, you'll notice, um, I don't know if you can hear, uh, but that's clear up uh, playing. I have to have something playing while I'm talking to myself into this little camera. Um, so anyway, that is that. Any questions, like I said, leave them for me. Thank you so much, and tune in next time.